I've been getting a ton of questions on YouTube about the different tools and supplies that I use to prepare my carnivore meals. What? Yogurt bites. Yeah. Oh, we don't have any yogurt bites, sorry. So today I thought it'd be fun to do a quick jaunt through my kitchen, show you exactly what I'm using and also share with you a few recipe ideas along the way. <laughs> Everything we talk about today is gonna be linked in the description below so that you can find it. But before we get started, let me get a drink together. Today I'm gonna have a pack of the chocolate salt from Element and I'd like to thank them for sponsoring today's video. I'm typically using the raw unflavored Element but when I wanna mix it up a little bit, I'll throw in a chocolate or maybe a watermelon or a mango chili. All of them have 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I like to have Element first thing in the morning to start my day off right, and in the summertime, it's especially important to pay attention to those electrolyte levels because it's so hot out. So if I'm gardening or if I'm doing a workout outside, I have another packet. Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. Just head over to the link in the description. It's drinkelement.com slash Jenny Midditch. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Jenny Midditch and get your free sample pack with any order today. I'm gonna take one pack of the chocolate element and mix it with some water. And then I add about two tablespoons of half and half and some ice. Mix that up real good and you have a refreshing treat that only has two grams of carbs. Oh, this is so good. Now that I have my drink, let's start with the tools and supplies that I use every day. First off, these wire racks and baking sheets. I'm using these probably a few times a week, primarily to cook bacon, but we also use them when we're spatchcocking a turkey for Thanksgiving. Next up, every single day, I'm using my Careway cookware. This is ceramic, non-stick, non-toxic cookware. Comes in a bunch of different colors very high quality. But the main reason that I like Caraway is that ceramic nonstick coating. What's the point of doing carnivore and getting rid of all the anti-caking agents and dextrose and vegetable seed oils and all that kind of stuff if I'm still cooking in a pan that is leaching toxic chemicals into my food? Doesn't make sense. So that's why I love caraway cookware. You can get a single pot, you can get a set of four, and they're very high quality and will last a lifetime, and so many different colors to match your kitchen. I'm typically using this saucepan when I'm boiling eggs or if I'm making my carnivore ice cream recipe, which I'm still perfecting. I'm gonna be having that recipe very soon. And for this little pan right here, I'm always cooking my breakfast sausage in it. There's also, well, this is a frying pan. Saute pan or frying pan, whatever. This is the larger one. And this one, if I have a big batch of eggs or if I'm doing some kind of like egg bake, or if I'm just cooking up a lot of kielbasa or something like that, this pan is excellent. Very nonstick. You don't really have to add much fat at all. But you know, since we're carnivore, we're adding a bunch of fat, but you don't have to. Nonstick, even with eggs. Love, love, love caraway. They are a little pricey, but it's an investment and it is definitely worth it. This is the Berkey water filter. I've been using it every day for years and years and years. They've recently gone out of business, but there are other companies that provide filters for these. So I just ordered some fresh ones. They are ceramic filters that have the fluoride filter built in. So I'll link those in the description because you have to order them from, I think it's the UK but they are the same price almost as the carbon filters. And I really like the aspect of getting the fluoride out of the water. Why is there still fluoride in our water? There's literally no reason for that to happen. I really wish we could get rid of that. But in the meantime, this Berkey does it for me. If there's one device we use literally every day in this house, it's our air fryer. This is a Power XL eight quart air fryer and we love it. We cook everything in here. Chicken wings, we cook steaks in here, which I know some people think is sacrilegious, but it does such a good job. This was a recent addition to the kitchen. I think we've had this one for like four or five months, but we couldn't live without it now. Every single day I'm using salt, obviously. On Carnivore, using lots and lots of salt. We have just a regular sea salt. We have some Redmond's salt. And then this is just a Morton salt that I use to refill these salt and pepper grinders. These are battery powered and I absolutely love them. And then finishing up what I'm using every single day, raw unflavored element, do at least a packet of this in the morning. And if I'm wanting to mix it up a bit, I'll use a chocolate chai or maybe a watermelon or a mango chili. Next up, these are the tools and supplies that I use if I'm doing meal prep or making recipes. First off, handy dandy crock pot, nothing fancy. Just got the biggest one I could get. I'm making bone broth with this. I like to make different kinds of soups. 
Ooh, pot roast, that's a really quick and easy one to make in a crock pot. And then of course we have the instant pot. Honestly, I don't use the instant pot often, but sometimes we'll pull it out if we need to cook some like ribs, some beef plate ribs or something like that. I find great deals at the grocery store for like 50% off of these big thick ribs and you put them in there, little bit of water, little bit of salt and just let them cook and it's just like fall off the bone. Delicious. All right, next, every kitchen needs a giant cast iron pan. Cast iron is excellent for cooking meats. We absolutely love cooking in it. So when we're not cooking with the caraway nonstick, we are using the cast iron. The next tool we have in our kitchen is this nonstick crepe pan. Honestly, I am not using it often because I really don't cook a ton of recipes. I do it for YouTube, but in my day-to-day -day life, I'm literally eating grilled meat and eggs. I'm so boring, but you know, once in a while you wanna do something different. So we'll do some carnivore noodles. You make crepes with this crepe pan and the crepe flipper tools, and then you cut those up into really thin slices. I made a turkey Alfredo with those noodles one time uh, over Thanksgiving, I think. Man, it was so tasty. So having the crepe pan around is definitely nice for when you want to experiment with different recipes. Next up is the meter meat thermometer. We are using these things a couple times a week, primarily for cooking either steaks or pork chops, but around the holidays, we use these for turkey. That's why we have two. One goes in the breast, one goes in the leg, then you get an accurate measurement and you know when to pull the turkey to get it the right temperature. And you know, I've had a few naysayers be like, oh, why do you need an app to cook your meat? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know, you know, for people that like to use meat thermometers to get that perfect temperature, I think these things are super cool. You know, you go into the app, you say, okay, I'm cooking steak, I'm cooking a ribeye, I want it to be 130 degrees, and this thing cues it in perfectly. You will never miss the temperature you want again. So a little pricey, but totally worth it. When we started on carnivore, we started watching a lot of the butcher wizard videos and decided, you know what? We want to cut our own meat. So last summer we did a chuck eye roll. We do a whole ribeye probably once every six weeks. So we got ourselves some knives. We've got the 10 inch breaking knife and the six inch boning knife. Both of these are indispensable when you are cutting your own meat and relatively inexpensive. Recently, our whole foods has been having dollar oysters on Fridays. So I started picking them up and making my husband shuck them. He loves it. <laughs> Just kidding, but we got this shucking kit. It comes with two of these protective gloves for your fingers and this shucker. And he's actually getting pretty good at it, but yeah, he he hates me whenever I, whenever I bring those home, but they're so delicious and so inexpensive. But yeah, it's nice to have this set around. <laughs> I just got this immersion blender for my husband for Christmas. It's one of the tools that we did not have that we actually need. When I was making my carnivore mayo recipe last summer, I only had my Ninja Blender, which I absolutely love, but it will not emulsify the same way this does. I like to use this also for eggs. If I'm doing like chorizo and eggs, I'll do eight eggs in a bowl, mix it up with this to make it nice and creamy and fluffy, and then I don't need to add any dairy. And yeah, makes it super easy. I love this thing. I need to find more uses for it though, but this is a cordless one. You just charge the battery and you're good to go. The blender that we have for our day-to-day -day is a Ninja blender. It has the regular blender container and then it has the small cups for making smoothies or whatever. We're using that a couple times a week. A recent addition to our kitchen is this Cuisinart ice cream maker. Super basic, but it gets the job done. I love making carnivore ice cream. I don't do dairy very often, but there's just sometimes I got a hanker in for some ice cream and I don't wanna have to go out and buy something that has a ton of different ingredients in it. Even Carb Smart ice cream has an ingredients label that's like a mile long. My carnivore ice cream has like five ingredients. So love this thing. After I cut up all of that meat with those awesome sharp knives, I'm using this vacuum sealer. This is like the most basic model of food saver you can get. All I needed to do was seal some stuff up so I didn't wanna spend a ton of money on it, but this thing works like a charm. All right, the next things that I absolutely love and do use often are parchment sheets. I've got small ones for like when I'm prepping burgers or something like that. And these large ones fit on a normal standard sized baking sheet. You never really realize how much you're gonna be using parchment sheets, but I use these things often. I've had my handy dandy kitchen scale for years now. And you know, this is great for if you're portioning out burgers or like when I'm cutting the whole ribeye, I like to make sure I'm getting a 16 to 20 
24 ounce steak. I also like to know the weight of the meat that I'm cooking. You know, you weigh it before you cook it, then I can put it into my fitness pal and just know exactly what my macros are. So food scale, super cheap, but I use it all the time. I wanna finish up with the pantry staples that I always have laying around. You never know when an inspiration is going to strike. And while I do just grilled meats most of the time, I like to have the stuff laying around just in case, you know? First off, Rx Sugar. This is mostly for my husband to put in his coffee. We have been on an allulose kick lately. I'm not using artificial sweeteners very often, but when we do, it's typically allulose. He uses two of these packets in his morning coffee. Jumping off of that is just a bag of allulose sweetener. I will use this in my cloud bread or if I want to sweeten my carnivore ice cream. I've also used this in a pumpkin spice carnivore cheesecake that I made for Thanksgiving. It's just nice to have around. Next, same brand is this egg white protein. It works really well for me. I'm using this when I'm making cloud bread. We talked a little bit about the beef gelatin powder, using this for my carnivore noodles or carnivore crepes. And then there's lots of other applications. So it's nice to have this around. Liquid stevia, like to have this around, just use a few drops, sweeten stuff up. But typically I am using the allulose. And that is it for our carnivore kitchen supplies and tools. You need help. The boys are getting a little fussy, so we gotta end it here. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Everything is linked in the description and I do have some coupon codes for a few of the products. So be sure to take advantage of that. Yeah, and I will see you next time. Say bye. Huh? Bye. All right, I'll see you next time.